Hi, Andrew here. Today I would like to teach you how to balance the reaction of sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid yields sodium chloride plus water. This is a type of neutralization reaction, although you don't really need to know that, but it would be an example of a neutralization reaction. So what we're going to do in order to balance this equation is we are going to simply place in these little lines to the left of the molecule. This will represent the location of the coefficients. All right. Now I want to keep in mind the general principle that what's ever on the left hand side and left is just defined as the relative position to that yield sign okay what's ever on the left hand side better equal what's ever on the right hand side in other words however many elements you have here on the left better equal however many elements you have here on the right okay so now let's just take a look at the first element i see so i see sodium now i want to work with sodium meaning na i want to work with sodium if it's only in one compound on the left and it's only in one compound on the right which it is so let's do that okay so here I now have one sodium. That's where the subscript comes into play. And I have one sodium over here. So that's balanced. I don't have to do anything, right? Isn't that great? Now, I'm going to move on to the next piece, okay? I have now oxygen. So I notice that oxygen only exists in this compound on the left. And it only exists in this compound on the right. I love that. I'm going to try to balance it, okay? So how many oxygens do you have? One here uh, in the sodium hydroxide. And you also have one there. So that's already balanced. Keep moving on. Next element I see is going to be hydrogen. Now here's the thing. Hydrogen exists in this compound on the left and it exists in that compound on the right. Excuse me. And it exists in this compound also on the left. I don't want to work with that. All right. I don't like, I'm going to save that for the end. I'm not going to worry about hydrogen until the absolute end. Okay. So skip it for now. The only element then that's left is chlorine. All right. Now chlorine is not, uh, chlorine here you have one chlorine. And then you, it's only in this one compound on the left, and it's only in this one compound on the right, and you notice it's a one and one. So that's balanced. So everything else is balanced except now for the hydrogen, okay? So this is now the key critical question. We have to somehow balance this hydrogen on out, right? Well, that actually won't be very hard because if we just look at it, right, how many hydrogen do we have here now? One, okay? How many hydrogen do I have here? One. So I have a total of now two hydrogens on that left-hand side, right? And how many hydrogens do I now have on the right-hand side? Oh, I have two. So wait a minute. It's balanced already? Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is balanced already. This equation is fully balanced, okay? Don't assume, though, that it is. You have to go through the analysis and check it. But that's all, all right? It's all balanced. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I know you might be thinking, why well, just skip hydrogen anyway? Because it was, that's how I would have that's how I approach it, right? I don't I don't think ahead of time about it is it balanced or not. I always save those for the end, and then it just worked out to be balanced. Very simple. All right, guys, thanks so very much for tuning. I appreciate it. Take a look at our channel. We got thousands of problems out there for you. We'd love to help you through your other classwork, physics. We got mathematics out there. We got more chemistry coming. Look forward to helping you with more stuff. Take care.